friends welcome back so in my previous sessions i discussed clearly the concepts of iot basics iot architecture the protocols involved in iot how to use the mqtt coap all those kind of implementation strategies plus the challenges everything i have discussed i also used cloud for storing my data but the point is we didn't go deeper into the uh, cloud part which i'm going to do right now so here it's going to be iot plus cloud and the analysis and issues that we are going to face so the complete session is all about covering the agenda of types of cloud iot and cloud challenges how will you select your cloud for iot applications cloud security aspects and one case study with the practical application i would use adaf root there i think you guys would know better than me right now that i use adaf root more than anybody else so let's define uh, cloud computing professor ramnath chalapa from emory university has conveyed a very clear statement a cloud computing paradigm where the boundaries of the computing will be determined by economic rationale rather than technical limits this statement will be understood the moment you get a clear understanding about what cloud computing is all about he says that it's more of economics than technical that's true that's 100% true you will understand this when we go into the core content so what is cloud computing it is to store data elsewhere is that over there no we have more there is it just data no it's, it's something more so cloud computing i have discussed earlier that uh, uh, iaas infrastructure as service paas platform as service saas software as service are there and i have also given you a brief note about what is that i am going to just retouch that right now what is software as a service the software application will be provided to you as a service you can use it based on your subscription and you will have to pay either monthly or yearly or quarterly or something like that so software will be provided to you and you will have to use the software as a service it's like renting the software to you to work platform as a service paas development tools apis necessary libraries everything will be provided by the cloud service provider now you need to build your application with that they will give you everything that you need i mean all the tools that you need to build the applications over it and this is called as platform as a service they provide you the platform to develop your application and again there is a cost involved infrastructure as a service iaas now this is complete infrastructure that they are going to provide you this is like virtual machine you will just have a virtual login and everything would be available there you you need to just select the corresponding os the corresponding applications and it's going to be a complete infra now it's not going to be just a tool it's not going to be just a platform it's going to be everything so you are going to work on a virtual machine or a physical machine this is called infrastructure as a service again there is a cost involved now when you see in all the three software as a service or platform as a service or infra as a service i used the term cost 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 this is what professor ramna chalapa said it is more about economic rationale than the technical limits so we need money money is going to be everywhere now there are three type of uh, uh, cloud deployment models one can be private second one can be public third one is going to be hybrid so how does it work and what is it you can see that i have got three clouds here what is public cloud public cloud is something that any general public can go and use the cloud service provider will have the complete ownership will have the complete uh, monitoring maintaining everything will be there by the cloud service provider all the resource management all the uh, worries about the complete resources available everything will be taken care of by the cloud service provider and how do you connect sir yes sir i use my internet to connect so my internet service provider is going to help me out in connecting everything so now what is the advantage i don't care about the infrastructure i don't care about who maintains it i don't care about where it is to be stored i do not really worry about how they are storing it so is it all advantage yes it is an advantage easy to use i need i just need to just like google sheet you think of it do you know where it is getting stored so no worries but challenges when you store your data publicly in public uh, where there would be a problem there could be a definite issue the security vulnerability issues are there and this would be a challenge if it is going to be too confidential i would prefer you not to store your data in the public open cloud now come to the private cloud it is like i have my own cloud for me which means my data center will have the storage unit for me to store all my data this is going to be extremely private 
it is going to be 100% confidential and complete control complete monitoring complete maintenance everything has to be taken care of by the organization that is using this private cloud it's typically going to be inside the data center so i will have my storage inside my walls that's what i mean typically and uh, security and privacy would be definitely addressed here but cost factor would be high so you need to pay money for it and hybrid i'll use the mix of the public and the private cloud which means the resources the technology the method the benefits everything that is offered in both the public and private cloud would be mixed and you will be offered a service partially it would be private partially it would be public so you you may allow some people to use the public cloud and some people in your organization to use the private cloud so it's it's a mix so what is the advantage it's really flexible and uh, disadvantage again when you say that it is public the moment you say that it is public it's going to be risky with the data security now comes the core topic iot with cloud the challenges what are all the challenges that one would face when you use cloud computing for any application and here it is going to be iot application in specific there are seven challenges that i have listed we'll go one by one the first one and the foremost one is privacy and security when you say that you are in a business your data is going to be your asset if you are competitor gets your data and that's all you are gone you are out of the market so whenever you are saying that you are putting data in cloud i always get a question that is it safe so when you move it outside your firewall when you store it elsewhere outside your firewall that is always vulnerable so in that case the hackers can go and attack it you are exposing your data outside which is very very critical and if your competitor gets it if a hacker gets it that's all you are gone so privacy again it's an issue storing your data elsewhere is like someone always monitoring you you never know you are watched 24 bar 7 that's what is the fact so what is the uh, solution we have can we avoid cloud computing no you can't you will have to go with the technology you will have to grow with the growth you can't avoid it but what can be the uh, scenario here it's very simple you got to monitor your systems you got to monitor your network periodically for any changes any suspicious attacks any vulnerabilities and that's the only sign that you can predict you will have to use good software for detecting all these you may have to use a, a technique to detect all these kind of uh, spoofing attacks and all those things which happens and that's going to save you so privacy and security is the foremost and primary problem that we will face when we go to cloud second bandwidth and related constraints okay let me ask you this questions first do we have to buy hardware when we go to cloud no do we have to worry about the maintenance of the hardware when we buy when we go into cloud no do we have to worry about how do we set it the infrastructure related things no then all these are advantages right yes there are advantages for sure there are advantages but certainly there are disadvantages too first thing you are sending data at a very slow rate so bandwidth constraint should not be a problem you are sending data at a very high rate which means very intensive data in that case your bandwidth requirement would be very heavy so your data when is normal for the kind of applications that i have built and i have demonstrated you really do not require a huge bandwidth to push it on the cloud but if it is a very high speed data which really needs a huge bandwidth you need to invest money on that so i don't buy hardware i don't buy um, the software i do not have to invest anything but i need to invest on the bandwidth for that i need to pay so do we have to say no to cloud computing no this is just one part of it but rest of the things are all profitable so we need to still go with it so cloud computing is profitable for iot applications as well and here when you come to iot the sensors are the ones which are going to pick data for you and it it will send the data so it's going to be quite spontaneous it will send the data at a very high rate so your bandwidth requirements are going to be extremely crucial and for example if you have got no bandwidth to push the data which is found to be critical data you would have missed a diagnosis so it's going to be very very crucial and critical for you to collect all the data for you to give you a, a very perfect analysis and diagnosis it's going to be very important next challenge it's going to be migration and portability okay first thing sir i want to go to cloud computing sir i'm happy i am moving my entire systems to cloud so first thing how much easier it is for me to move my data to cloud can i migrate it easily how much safer it is how much downtime would it require how much easier it is do we have a strategy to migrate to cloud 
all these things are a serious questions and challenges we have chosen a cloud service provider how much support can he render us to move our data into cloud all these are the questions that you need to answer from one aspect second aspect okay sir i use cloud computing i had enough of it i am not happy let us assume that it's hypothetical i need to come out of the cloud how much safer can it be for me to come out of the cloud with all the data from cloud being ported into my infrastructure again how would it cost to me how much it would cost would it affect my workflow would it affect uh, would it give me much more downtime there would be a lot of downtime available there and most importantly most important we have stored a lot of data which means it is a big data will it be easier for you to migrate from one service provider to another service provider for example i go with service provider x i don't like him i have some problems there can i move with complete data to y is it possible would there be support it's all about sensors it's all about data and iot so this point is going to be extremely crucial and critical for somebody to decide about going into cloud computing or not but we have no option again reliability availability that's the next point that we need to discuss this is the this is one of the finest challenges that people are facing iot is all about monitoring the devices monitoring the environment getting the data continuously and it has to be really really spontaneous when you seek for storage for example i am getting data very fast and i need to store it under the cloud if the availability is not there if i am not getting a storage facility there when i am pushing data there are a lot of techniques to retain the data in between and then like mqtt will push when it is available but if it is very crucial and the analysis is done based on the data that you are sending it's going to be difficult the uh, definite service need of cloud to be available for 24 by 7 is a challenge i need to have the cloud 24 by 7 i need to have the customer support 24 by 7 is it available and coming to the reliability part how much robust it is for example i am pushing a very little data now find the cloud can handle it i am pushing a very fast data at a very high rate and the data is very intense how much quicker can it handle it it's going to be tough so all these have to be answered and this is a challenge the availability and reliability remains a solid challenge costing that's a very important point yes sir now we say that we do not have to invest money on hardware we say that we do not have to invest money on infrastructure but there is a cost factor related to it right as i said in the first slide to everything so yes there is a costing involved okay i have a cloud service provider account right now i use it i use it as pay as you scheme pay as you use scheme and i do not know how much i have used end of the day if you see you must have been charged heavily so we need to know how much are we using what is the scheme that we are connected to all these are really really important the subscription schemes everything are, is to be very very important and the budget for the subscription for the costing is to be very well revealed very nicely revealed well before the planning otherwise it's going to be tough i need to know which cloud service provider i'm going into i need to know what is the model that i'm going to use the service how much do i have to pay all these are to be known otherwise it may even affect your quarterly performance if you lose your money a lot in the storage well this is a very important point and i love this point when i read through a lot of websites and a lot of uh, materials out there data ownership okay who is sending the data to cloud you are sending the data whose data it is yes it's your data but who is having it it's them it's the service provider who is having it so who is owning the data it's obviously you but not you but the service provider is owning the data this is a huge challenge and do we have to believe him yes we will have to believe him do we have to say that the data is safe we are telling that it is safe but how much safe it is it depends so it's a challenge and finally the last point expertise iot is not rocket science by the way and same is the cloud cloud computing it's not rocket science it's easy so we ourselves have started testing lot of uh, iot applications with cloud and it's working fine but the applications that we are building is very simple and it's all um, for a simple training and tutorial related purpose but when you go into real time you see that the changes in the field of iot or iot and cloud computing to be very precise are enormous and is really really pushing it's really necessary that the one who is going to implement or use cloud computing is up to date if he has to be upgraded he has to be up to date he has to otherwise vanish he or she it's going to be that case it's going to be very difficult for you to keep yourself in track with the changes that these service providers are giving you 
so overall these seven challenges are there when you use iot plus cloud computing but they are like twin brothers you can't avoid using them together that's my view thank you very much for following the channel i'll come back to you with more inputs shortly please give me your feedback in your comment section if you have any queries you can type it there if you need any specific topics to be covered i can cover it please post it as a request in the comments column thank you thank you for subscribing